uh, about a week or two ago, I walked into a local pawn shop and I saw this and all the cables, two controllers for $20. So I got it, right? And the cable it came with was PlayStation composite cable and it's composite, so it's terrible. So because I, I don't like to pay for things and uh, an official S-Video cable is something like $30 on eBay, uh, a knockoff, the cheapest one is like six dollars, both of which I'm not going to pay. Instead, I'm going to get some S video going, some composite, some RGB, all that stuff, uh, with just the stuff I have, hopefully. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that started. So I found this. It's a console multi cable that my dad got. Uh, years ago and it was just sitting in a cabinet somewhere for I don't know 15 16 years and it has a PlayStation AV connector on it so here is the plan because this one has all the pins I need uh, this one doesn't cuz it's only composite I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one put it over over this one and I'm gonna fix some of the cabling issues right so that's the plan. Okay, then the bottom falls off. Check that out. It's just a piece of paper. That's not what I expected. Well, whatever. So, like I said, I've already looked in here. Here's the thing. This is, is what's in here. I mean, this looks like something I would do. Well, anyway, I have high quality output solutions for Nintendo. Nintendo AV multi-out and the original Xbox. So I'm, I'm gonna be getting rid of these. We're only going for PlayStation. Getting rid of these cables in and of themselves probably won't make a huge difference quality-wise, if any. Uh, but I'll have a bit of extra cable link to work with for other stuff later. And also just, it'll, any chance of interference, you know? So let's, let's figure this one out, huh? What f amazes me is that it's somehow dirty in here, despite being sealed. Now I have to figure out what the other side is like because they put a piece of electrical tape in between them to keep them separate. This was, this was, that means a person put this here. This was hand done. Probably. How am I gonna do the back of this? I have an idea. I'll unsolder this side. Or D side of the side, and then I can move it. Okay. Also, part of the reason I'm doing this is because repairing the Game Boy right now, if I do that for any longer right now, I'll have a stroke because I broke a very fragile ribbon cable, and repairing it is a nightmare as well. Wow, I, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Dude, <laughs> don't worry about what just happened. How am I gonna go about this? Now we can just tell this one how to do this. How do I do this? I'm just gonna start cutting this thing up. See what happens. See where, see where it goes. This the PS1 does support RGB, but I have absolutely nothing that's that can use RGB. So that was. And then I looked into getting a, a converter to component, and those were 50 bucks or something like that. I could just try and crush it. Now this is what concerns me. What is that? wonder what that is. Hopefully not important. Congrats to whatever company made this unbranded cable. The plan. The plan from here, right? Gonna take this off. It's gonna have all the... Pins exposed, I hope. Yeah, sil probably silicon. It's gonna have all the pins exposed, I hope. Oof. I am a lucky, lucky man that that didn't cut me. I can put my hand in front of it at about this distance, and it's not even uncomfortable. It barely feels warm. About there is where it starts to get uncomfortable. This does not look safe, by the way, what I'm doing.
This thing is a heat sink. Dude, this feels this feels like a guessing game because it's so opaque. It's looking better than I expected. They're all still there. Hey, here's that PCB from earlier. I have to look that up. You know, weirdly, there aren't a lot of good pictures of torn down PlayStation AV out cables. As strange as that is online. I probably will end up using just these, because these are longer as well. These might be nice, I hope. You want to check out how crazy my multimeter is? Harbor Freight. You see this? I made this when I was less electrically experienced. It, it does work though. Uh, one cable where I could plug it in. Plug in three. It was for a component cable. I could plug in Y, PB, PR. And I could have two outputs. And I didn't want to pay for a splitter. So I, I made one. And it doesn't, it doesn't work great. But it kind of works. I haven't used it ever. Dude. Oh. T I don't know if these are shielded, but they're mad strong. Oh, wow. These are. I'm noticing. I'm realizing now how thick these might be. Uh oh. Oh, dude. I barely. I barely made. I don't even know if I got to the metal there. I put a lot of force down. I'll reference this stream if I ever need to remember. The one with no wrap is green. The one with one wrap is gonna be blue. And two wraps is gonna be red. Alright, makes sense. But, does audio- I don't know anything about audio signals. I know video signals. Does audio have to be insulated? Not insulated, shielded? That's not even, that's barely gonna hold it down, but... That's right, audio. This is, it may not look like it, but that's sturdy. That's a Luma. Oh. Oh! We have liftoff. They were flipped. I feel stupid. Got him. I think we're good. Uh, whatever needs to be finished up with this, I'll clean up off stream, but outside of that, check this out. We got every connection type. So, it has been a while. As far as I remember, that was recorded, streamed, maybe two months ago. A lot has taken place. So this is the current state of things, right? Now, as uh, as rough as that looks, it's, I mean, just look at that. Just look at that RGB, right? No checkerboarding. Why is that? It's because looks, well, looks this don't matter, right? The connector on the end here, I didn't put a lot of time into optimizing it, but it's, 
it's holding. So this here, that's not a VGA connector. Stop calling it that. This is a D sub 15 connector and it's carrying RGB. Why is a D sub 15 connector carrying RGB for a PS1 or PS2? It's because that is the kind of input my scaler has. I could have done SCART, but I don't have anything that uses SCART. I have something that uses D sub 15. This is a cable for my use. It works with my use. Effectively, this is optimal for all of my PS1, PS2, and even PS3 needs, you know? We have fully shielded audio. That works, there's no popping. We got composite if you're insane. We have S video if you're a little less insane. And of course we have good old RGB on Sync on Luma, which is from the S video line because where else would I get it? So yeah, look at this wonderful monstrosity.